I almost feel like these shows are really like a, a what is the word? Epilogue? Epilogue before or prologue is before? Prologue is before. Prologue is yeah. before. So pro, if these are all like a prologue. So season two is going to be hopefully more entertaining. Chapter and one. Or, and See, or season it, two going to be more chapter entertaining. Chapter one, part one, point one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it was an interesting statement that you made earlier when you talked about them learning their lesson and having yeah. put more development time and thought into, say, the Mandalorian movie. Uh, yeah. as opposed to their TV shows and so on. Right. And I think to myself, I'd, I'd love if that were true, but my worry is that they've had almost 10 years to learn their lesson, and they haven't, based on what they've actually made so far. And I just wonder, like, is now the time when they're going to turn everything around? Or can they? Even do they have that creative sure, they, ability? Yeah, they can. It's so easy, man. It's just freaking a little bit of PR. That's all they got to do. You just get Kathleen Kennedy, honestly, and she can read a freaking teleprompter and be like, hi, everyone. We know that the fandom is quite divided. We love every single one of you all the same. We know we've made some mistakes that you haven't appreciated all in unison, and we'd love to bring you all together. So our next project is going to be blah, 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 whatever. Ray. There's so many reasons why <laughs> Reva, they wouldn't you know, have her say that. But she will never might say be that. like, you know, she, they'll be like, you can't say you love all of them. There's racists in there. You can't, you can't say that. Yeah, it's they'll true. The like, Star Wars fandom is not for everyone. And according then, uh, to Obi Wan, there's... according well, to I, I think as well, and that's it's a good what you're describing there is a good way of um, I don't know trying to improve your perception of the studio. But the problem with the brand now is that you've essentially killed off or really ruined all of your legacy characters that the the Star Wars brand was built on. Yep, Luke's Luke's been trashed. Han Solo's dead. Yep. Uh, Leia was a non entity in the the sequels, and Carrie yep. Fisher's gone now. Um, Boba Fett, like a cool character, pretty small, but like, you know, people liked him. Um, he's now he's an old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's um, funny by the way you said Han Solo is dead. It's like, that's a very nice way to put what they did to him. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they did other things. Him, yeah. Yeah. Murdered My him. point being, yeah. like, he, you can't, you can't uh, redeem him now. He's gone. Like, that's Lando it. Calrissian has sex with robots. Yep. Yeah, I, and so I could go on and on. I mean, I would too if being, I was, like, if I was, if I was on, you know, freaking ship for that long. I mean, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My point being, though, like when you've done all of that, it's going to be very difficult to then uh, get people to like what you're going to m produce going forwards because For sure. you've essentially yeah. undermined the foundation of your own building. But it's it's not too late. It's there is all you can always fix it no matter what. If Logan Paul came back from his forest stunt, I mean, Star Wars can come back. From, you know, it's not that not difficult. I, I don't use, know. I don't know difficult. if it's going to come back from a Ray movie. No, yeah, it's not. The, no, and no, but that's the thing. They keep making shit decisions, and that's yeah, the there's issue. A, there's a timeline where they can come back, but it's like one of ten thousand million billion timelines where they don't. Uh, and I think, the, the, yeah, I mean, we're yeah, not yeah, Doctor li Strange. literally Doctor Strange. Yeah. It's one, <laughs> but it doesn't think, happen. Yeah, but I think yeah, as well, the, the more shit things you make, the more difficult that path to redemption becomes. And I, I'm just, uh, yep. My my worry is like they are making more and more shit stuff, and I just I don't see that path getting any easier. You know what's and... funny is if you go back and you watch any of the first six films, you will get a completely different tone to what Star Wars is. It's amazing. It, it's like you you're right back there. Like I don't think of any of the Disney shit or anything like that when I watch the first six films because the tonality is just so different, completely by a mile. Oh, yeah. It's not even yeah. in the same galaxy. So well, it's, 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 it's easy we to have separate. those still. So it's like you just have to go back to that, and then from there create a new timeline where you just, just go on tangent with what that was created or what that created. Whereas now we're like, you know, in Back to the Future Two, and he's like, we've somehow shifted and broken the timeline. It's like we're now in this weird, funky timeline where we could. I'm holding a Lego piece. Where we could go <laughs> in some other like we we could go back to it, and they could create maybe, man, make a really cool. Pal Palpatine movie, honestly. Like yeah, a did... dope ass Palpatine movie and talk about legends, talk about don't talk about the sequels, talk about Plagueis, talk about the Sith that came before Plagueis. There's so much source material to choose from, man. I mean, like Old Republic. You could literally create the coolest new nine films if you wanted to with the Old Republic. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It, it, reality is, if there is this one thing that they could do to, to fix it, at least the best thing they could possibly do, it's one is going on a five-year hiatus, period. Uh, like bottom line, where they've done that basically with movies. <laughs> well, well, I mean, Already. from any from any content they're putting out, that's okay. the first thing you do. 
The right. second thing you we'll do spend is, the five years we'll, planning, right? Yes. Sp- uh, do your timelines, all this stuff. People need a break from it. They, they need a break um, from, from this stuff coming out. And then what you do is you say everything that happened since the Disney takeover, null and void. I don't care if you like Andor. I don't care if you like Mando. I don't care if you like uh, everything they've done. Null and void. Start from scratch from 2012. Um, it would it would be nice to think agree. that, like again, like Moller said with the Kathleen Kennedy apology thing, it's never yeah, yeah. ever going to happen. Oh, it'll, it'll oh, certainly, happen. it's not going to happen. It'll but that happen. that's the only yeah. way you can actually heal all the bad things that have happened. Again, well, I don't care if you like but rebels. I don't care whatever. Like you got to really with this shit. I, I think even, stop with it. even then, like you're going to get like some of those people who are somehow fans of the Disney era of Star They're Wars who are, are going to be absolutely infuriated by that. And so again, you've divided the fan base and. Like, that's what I mean. It feels like uh, essentially an unwinnable scenario right now. And I don't know what your play would be. We, we talked about this before. Like, if you're going to not change anything or not, you don't have this mythical erase where I can delete everything that's happened. There's two options. You go way in the future and you go way in the past. Exactly. I, like, I would yeah. love, I, I've been advocating since they took over that they should do Old Republic. They should do Jedi Mandalorian Wars. Yep. They should do stuff like that. Uh, there's so much storytelling available. But they they have already in Disney canon like one shortened that timeline up a lot and screwed with it a lot, which they shouldn't have. Um, they, so they've already destroyed a lot of opportunities there. But you go 500 years in the future, uh, you don't say your word Skywalker, you don't say the word Ray, you don't say the word Palpatine, and you just tell stories in this in this universe. Yep. Um, I, I think as well. What though, you can't the... do is pull on nostalgia, so they're too scared to do that. I mean, yep. yeah, and. I think the other aspect that's always going to hold them back is the culture that now exists at Lucasfilm. And I hate to say it, but like it's going to it's going to permeate every project that they produce going forwards, whether well, it's set a thousand years in the past or a thousand years in the future. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same people working on it and they're going to infuse it with the same garbage that's crippled Star Wars up until this point. Yeah, it's the same woke would, uh, bullshit that they're constantly shoving down our throats and it's just a uh, time we need to focus on proper storytelling and not about who's telling the story or what their gender is. I think that's really the first thing that we need to focus on and having a concrete timeline of where do these stories go? I mean, I really am so surprised with how the sequel trilogy turned out with it, how it was so disjointed. Like, how do you have one guy writing seven and then the other guy is already writing eight before seven finishes and they're not collaborating with each other whatsoever? At least well, the ending of seven changed by request of what the guy wanted for eight. You know, right. So seven at the end was supposed to, for those who don't know, was supposed to have Luke Skywalker meditating like with massive boulders floating around. And then Ryan goes in there, hey, do you do me a solid, bro? Can you make sure R2 is not in the ship? And can you also make sure that... Um, Luke it's can't just use the force. There. Yeah. He's that just fucking decision, there. man, to to have Ray be the one to meet Luke out of everyone they have on option there. Yeah. So forced. Like, no way it would fucking be Should've Ray. Been Han Solo. 